Hey, good. An award-winning author, accomplished journalist who's covered everything from apartheid in South Africa to Rodney King's beating in Los Angeles. He has seen history unfold before his very eyes. NBC4's Monica Day talked to him about police relations, protest, and his own personal experience growing up here in Columbus on the north side during the 1960s. To this day, Will Haygood remembers the lesson his grandfather taught him at seven years old. He said, never come out of a store with a loaf of bread or a carton of milk and not have it in a bag. And, and I asked him why, and he said, because you will be stopped by the police and accused of stealing that. As a child, his relationship with police was a good one. There used to be something called PAL. P-A-L in Columbus, and it was the police athletically, and they would play softball with you and basketball with you, uh, and they got to know you, and you had a sense that they cared about you. But not all of his experiences have been good. We were coming from some nightclub, and all of a sudden, uh, we were surrounded by a SWAT team, and uh, a shotgun was pointed at my head. As luck would have it, an officer knew Will and his friend. One of the officers there, he said, man, these guys aren't criminals. These guys are friends of mine. If you continue as a, as a black or brown person in this country to have those types of interactions uh, with the police, it doesn't foster a sense of trust mm -hmm or goodwill, and we all know that there are many, many, most police officers, men and women, are wonderful, sure. great. They get up in the morning and they want to go do a good job and they put their lives at risk and the job can be tough, but there should be a human element yeah. in that. Uh, and I think that's why the country and the world is so outraged. And motivated to change, which gives him hope. One of the themes that people uh, uh, have been talking about more than ever uh, in my lifetime is that black lives matter. Mm -hmm. uh, they do. They matter. And, and I hope that in America rises, rises to the occasion. Will hopes to see the militarization of police across the nation come to an end and return to more non-confrontational interactions like those he had as a child. Through his reporting, he has seen the role that communication can play in restoring trust. He also says it's heartening to see white Americans taking a stand against racial injustice. Monica Day, NBC4.